Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Mohab from uh, Miniature Trace. Um, this video I want to discuss the auto support. Is it reliable? Can we use auto support? Uh, for this video, I'm going to use one of my most complex uh, miniatures. As you can see now, uh, the Lich Sorcerer. Um, there are so like so many curves, details, and um, especially that back uh, piece, the bones there are very very uh, tiny. I don't remember once that uh, I reprinted that one and uh, I didn't break it by mistake. Um, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna try uh, the auto support Cheeto box. I'm gonna compare the old settings uh, or the old pre-support for um, version 1.6 to the new one version 1.9 because I, I have noticed a lot of um, improvements actually in the uh, auto support settings that they have done uh, I'm now in the 1.9 version the only thing that I have changed if I remember correctly is the um, changing it to light support and the angle at 60 degrees so uh, running the auto support and uh, as you can see uh, in this newer version i noticed that uh, the pre-support is not really uh, they, they made sure that the pre-support is not starting at uh, the uh, character itself building up from the character and supporting any point um anyways like i have thought that uh, this um angle is not really challenging enough uh, to prove my point so i put like uh, i changed the uh, tilt um and i did it in in a kind of like not natural way something that i would not really print my minis on um i believe that would make it uh, a lot more challenging for the pre-support to work and again i did the pre-support and as you can see here that uh, they are making sure um, in the new version that uh, the pre-support is not um, starting from the um, mini itself and supporting the points it needs support and of course the, the, the problem with that is that it's going to be leaving a lot of marks on the mini itself right uh, now I switch to the 1.6 um, Cheeto box my old version and uh, I have done the same changes light support 60 degrees and run the pre support and uh, you will be noticing here that the system is different right um, I've been using that the, the 1.9 pre support for a few months now and uh, I don't remember the last time I don't think I ever had any failed print to be honest um, when it comes to um, uh, to, to, to using this um, the cheer box 1.9 um, the pre support is done properly and even like uh, when I'm doing like little, little very little uh, minis it, it's, it's working properly you can see here in the older version um, you have it's, it's a big mess you know like all the pre supports are starting from not all of them like so many pre supports are starting from the mini itself and uh, supporting the points like the one in the nose here starting from um, the the lower lip um the 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 dress or the cape he's wearing you know uh it's 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 massacred you know it's it's really bad um so that that was not reliable and i remember when i tried that back at the days a few years back uh, like I never had very good results. Um, I had a lot of uh, failed support uh, minis. So now I'm having a comparison between both versions, the 1.6 and the 1.9, and you can see the difference. In the 1.9 here, you can see that the supports are done properly, uh, extended from far away to support the points that needs to be supported, uh, while in the older version, um they, 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 like they don't care right like whoever did that support system in the older version they only focused about supporting the points that need to be supported but they never 
uh, give attention to where the support should start and uh, whether that would actually cause the, 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 the printed model to be um, uh, uh, like properly done or not like in terms of the marks the support will leave um, that um, I don't like it at all uh, doesn't look good uh, the results were, were never good at all. I don't remember remember even like when I, when I switched to light support in the older version uh, The success rate was very low. So these are the different um, um, Support systems in the 1.9 and 1.6 uh, systems and we will be switching to um, see the actual results um, I didn't print the 1.6 because I, I thought it's gonna be like uh, wasteful. I only printed the 1.9. I printed a uh, version, 1.9 version, uh, the one in the right. Printed, printed two versions of it, um, and I will show you how easy it is to remove the support, um, whether we have any failures or not uh, in the final product. Uh, this mini specifically needs to be printed at three uh, goals, like uh, have three materials in it, the translucent green, translucent red, and the main color. I choose here the gray. This is the print out of the uh, machine. Uh, you can see uh, it all printed properly well. Uh, I have not touched that, like I only pressed auto support. Um, 60 angle uh, like 60 degrees angle with the light support and um, I'm gonna remove the support right now uh, a little bit have it like uh, double the speed not to uh, be boring but for the first one <clears throat> I thought I'll be like extra careful usually I'm not that careful when it comes to removing support I'll just like um, remove it from the uh, the mini without any considerations but since this one is very challenging especially the parts at the back um, like I have broken that um, almost every time I printed this model so at this time I thought I would be like extra careful I'm using the clipper I didn't even I didn't really clip anything uh, but I just push with the metal uh, because that gives it um, more force because I want, I don't want to clip it and remove, uh, remove it like, uh, like leave uh, a mark on the uh, mini itself. So <clears throat> it's really easy, uh, but I just needed to make sure that the uh, all the supports that are connected to the uh, that back piece, uh, the bones there, are removed first before I just remove everything else with me or with my hand. Uh, just to make sure that I'm not gonna break anything. Um, so, sorry that, um, some, sometimes like, uh, it's off camera, I'm not really, um, used to doing videos. So I'm almost done here with the, um, with removing support from the, uh, bones and challenging as I said so now I'm gonna remove the rest of the support by hand I believe that was it yep just removing everything else here simple Okay, so now all the most of the support is um, removed, and as you can see, that there are no uh, marks. I'm going to have a close up right now. There are no marks at all on the um, model. I'm just removing a little bit here and there. Okay, here we go. So you can see that there are no marks. Uh, it's, it's printed properly and um, um, I, I love the results to be honest like again like I've, be, I've been using that method uh, for the past I don't know five or six months uh, with the version 1.9 1, uh, 1.2 and uh, I have been receiving flawless results 
Uh, the reason I used that version, uh, I had an issue with my old uh, 1.6. Um, I had a new machine and uh, it was something with the, um, like I had the, the Saturn and it was something with the dimension of the plate and it's not, I don't know what happened, it didn't work and I didn't want to switch to the new um, system of the new version, sorry, 1.9 because it needed some a hardware update uh, and I was afraid that if I used that maybe I would just um, ruin it and make everything go bad or something. Uh, but once I did it and I tried um, to print, um, I was amazed with the result, right? So uh, I tried again and again and again since then and it was perfect. But as you can see here, like when I print like a flat surface, like the uh, bases, I like to uh, make sure it's printed so I have a lot of support there. I could, I know I can tilt it a little bit higher and have fewer support, but when that happens, there are a lot of marks there. So now the next, the the the, the second body, like uh, I printed, I, I I didn't go easy on it, right? I thought, okay, I'll try this time to do it my way, right? So I'll just remove everything savagely and see whether it's gonna work or not. And um, I was glad that nothing broke, uh, especially these again, the the tiny bones at the back, they were not broken. Uh, as you can see, like three seconds, four seconds, whatever, I don't know, like in real time, how much did that take me? But a few seconds, I just removed them. Uh, of course, I put a little bit of attention uh, when I was pulling the support that is connected to the um, fragile pieces at, the, at his back. Um, but again, the result were flawless. Um, Everything was removed easily, simple. The print was done properly, no marks. Um, I, I love the results, right? Um, then, again, I'm gonna show you close up to the um, character, the model. You cannot see, you cannot note any uh, marks as well. There's no marks there. Uh, printed properly, you know, that that cape, you know, had a lot of uh, uh, pre-support connected to it, and I think it's reliable. Um, I'm not sure, like, if the, uh, if what is called, like, professional pre-support would do a better job or that or not. Uh, but for like a hobbyist, for someone who's doing uh, his own thing, I think it's it's really good. It's really nice, you know. And that is the um, green flames with the skulls. Okay, again, I print it properly. Nothing wrong there. No marks. Um, it is cool, right? and two pieces of flame that's the, the the flame attached to the crystal and that's the flames attached to the scroll with the skull on it and um, you, like i had in the same plate like one of one like a head i i modeled for my spawn and again uh, you might not see it properly, but there's another one here I printed like earlier, and you can you can see after after painting it, there are no marks at all. Everything, all the details as I intended them to be. Um, that's the uh, plate when it was fresh um, out of the machine. So here we go. That's um, what I wanted to share with you. Uh, Pre-support, uh, whether it's reliable or not. Thank you.